guys and welcome to another video on Asia Network and today is second video of Microsoft Word program lessons of many many uh, videos that I will create in the future so today I am talking about Microsoft Word interface so all about buttons and ribbon and uh, document area and so on those basic informations that I will cover but before I start showing you all this stuff, don't forget to subscribe, like or dislike and share. So, let's start! So, first let's open up some document. I will just uh, click, left mouse click on the blank document or if you want to open up some other document just open it and here it is Microsoft Word interface so as you probably notice this is document area where you can insert text type you can insert images tables and much more up here is title bar which contains the file name of your document in my case is document 1 in your case most likely it will be some different name then here is quick access toolbar which has only few buttons but let's say we type hello world and if I click this button that means repeat typing it will repeat last uh, part of text or image you inserted or whatever if i click uh, this button that means that will undo the last step that means hello world which we duplicated it will remove it but let's say i want this text back as you see this button just changed and if I go over the button it says redo typing just click and typing is back but you're probably wondering why is this repeat button not clickable that is because we did not type anything we would just reinserted the text that we typed and in that case it won't give you an option to repeat what you did but if you want to repeat you just need to insert new text or insert new image or whatever this button right here is to save document click save and that's it and this button right here gives you some more options that you can add let's say uh, you can add new document open document email quick print and so on you can customize this quick access toolbar next ribbon display options what is ribbon uh, in my previous video i told you that ribbon is this area right here all these tabs groups elements possibilities but let's say you can show tabs only without uh, ribbon it, it can appear, appear when you click on it if you do not want just click somewhere else you can auto hide ribbon you can hide everything but just document area if you want ribbon click those three dots and you can click on it it is all up to you what you want next here i have minimize button so if you click on it you minimize this window to taskbar if you click on the document right in taskbar you will uh, restore the document of his last size if we click this button right here is to restore into window mode so you can move it you can resize it and so on but if you click this button again as you see a button is a little bit different you will convert the window to full screen 
and the last button here is close the word window in this ribbon we have tabs home tab insert tab design layout reference and so on you can switch between them by clicking on it with left mouse button every single tab has some group like clipboard font paragraph styles and so on is if i get to insert you will have pages tables illustrations and so on a lot of different uh, groups and each group has buttons and commands a lot of different stuff you can do uh, with the document you can also let's say uh, select the text you can select by clicking on the beginning or end of text you want to select click and hold left mouse button and just drag until you select what you want and after that just release mouse button and now let's say we can uh, click bolt it will bolt and we can to drop down uh, the different font style we can select the size of the text and so on a lot of different stuff your button placement can be different let's say if i resize this window as you see all the groups are uh, more compact more together but if i let's say maximize it will expand you can also sign in with your email to microsoft and if you already have license for office inside your email on microsoft it will automatically activate your office package office suit uh, in document area as you see uh, this line is blinking what that means that means that wherever you let's say click there you can insert some text image and so on some buttons has the arrow on the right side that means that you have more uh, possibilities with that specific command and that button is named button command group if you click you can select additional commands and another thing is that when you go over the some button you see what that button is as you see this is for font color this is for text effects and type Topography. You can also, if you want more information, you can just click tell me more. You can also click group dialog box, which is this button right here, as well on almost all groups. If you click on it, you get more detailed information, more comments that you can use for this specific group. You can also show the ruler, horizontal and vertical. Let's go to view and click ruler. If you double click on the ruler uh, line somewhere here, you get this window, which you can uh, select if you want. Landscape document, portrait, and so on there is a lot of things but i won't cover all the details in this video because there is uh, basically too much information and also through the future videos i will cover all these things more in details step by step on bottom left we have status bar which you see the let's say on which page you are if you have multiple pages let's say 10 pages of some document it will maybe say first of 10 pages here is counter of, of how many words are inside the document one two and three if you do not know you can double click on the some text on some word in and automatically it will select the whole word here is language of the text english uh, if you want some other language just click on it and select the language and click ok 
OK cancel. We can also edit this whole line down here by right click somewhere and just select what you want to see right here. Let's say you can also have selection, line number and so on. We also have view bar right here. You can select as read mode if you want to read some document. You have print layout, how it looks like when you are printing and web layout. If you are editing some web page but Word is not particularly good for web pages. But if you need to, it is there. I also have here zoom dialog box. You can click with the left mouse button this slider and move and resize. You can also click plus or minus to increase or decrease the size. You can also scroll the window, document area, up and down. And you can, uh, if you increase the size, a more you can even horizontally move you can also click on the percentage and you get this pop-up window when you can select what size you want you can click ok and you get the size what you selected and that was it for today i hope you like the video you learned something uh, of course I covered only those basic informations in this video about interface, I will cover those commands and buttons and elements and so on step by step in future videos. So don't forget to watch my channel for more videos. And now I wish you to have a great day. If you have any questions, did not understand something, want to ask me something, want just to talk, just type everything in comment section below. Don't forget to like or dislike this video, subscribe to my channel so you get notified about new videos, share video with your friends, co-workers and others so they can learn too, and have a great day, bye bye!